Abundant cropland is one of the emerging form of land use in Nepal. Due to the out migration, there is the shortage of labor force and people are abandoning that cropland. So when you abandon the cropland, there are two things happen. The production is less, so there's a issue of food insecurity. Second, the abundant cropland that either goes to the geomorphic damage like landslide or erosion or mass wasting or there is a secondary secondary vegetation succession. So I'm particularly interested what happens to the soil after the cropland is abandoned. I'm Rosan Babu Oza, I'm from Nepal and uh, my areas of ex expertise are soil fertility management, soil carbon management and soil pedology. I'm looking the mechanism of soil and carbon sequestration through the roots at various depths with different types of species. First, it provides the scientific knowledge to the, uh, to, to the scientist of the world. So how much amount of carbon is sequestrated, sequestrated in which pool of carbon through the roots. So that is the new carbon input by the root. That is one, one of the research outcomes. Next, I'll model my data to see the which pool of carbon is dominant in landscape scale. My research output will be some kind of policy feedback or policy support to the government in, in the other countries where the abundant land is pronounced like in Nepal. That could be a kind of policy feedback to them as well. I'm, I'm really enjoying the UNI life here because uh, the peers, my friends in the terrestrial carbon research group, they are really cooperative and supportive. My supervisors, Brian Wilson, Paul Christensen, and uh, Kishore Atre, he is from Nepal, and they all are very, very supportive. They are very cooperative. And my my principal supervisor, Brian, he always puts student problems at the first place. So my life here at the UNE is easy going. So yeah, I'm really enjoying my life here in Australia and here at the UNE.